top 10 Scandinavian cyclists. Tor Ushoft. The aptly nicknamed God of Thunder has been the most dominant Norwegian in the pro peloton. His Palmares include three national road race titles, two green jerseys and the highlight of his career, a world championship title in 2010, where he became the first Scandinavian man to win an elite rainbow jersey. Far from just a sprinter, he's also made the podium on numerous occasions at Paris-Roubaix and Milan San Remo. At 35, we reckon there's still time for the Bull of Grimstad to make the top step of the podium at a major spring classic. Magnus Backstedt. Standing at a towering 6 foot 4 inches, Big Maggie was certainly easy to spot in the peloton, not least because of his desire to punish his fellow riders off the front of the bunch. His crowning accolade is of course a memorable win at the Paris-Roubaix 2004, when he bested a select group including Roger Hammond, Tristan Hoffman and Fabian Cancellara in a sprint to the line inside the velodrome. Maggie also won a stage of the Tour de France back in 1998. In 2006, injury hampered his chances for further success and he eventually retired from the Pro Tour in 2009 after a series of crashes, but not before winning the Swedish national title in 2007. Far from settling for a relaxed retirement, he's now taken to triathlon and has recently competed in two Ironmans. Edvard Boersenhagen Edvard Boersenhagen has developed himself into a capable all-rounder and he's been vying with compatriot Torhushoft for the best road cyclist in Norway for a number of years. He's been the national time trial champion an amazing six times, winning the road race title for the first time in 2012. His breakthrough moment came when he held on for dear life from Alexander Kuczynski to win Ghent Wevelgem in 2009. The value of Eddie the Boss lies in his versatility as a rider, and this was exemplified in the 2011 Tour de France. He won stage six ahead of many of the best sprinters, before attacking from a breakaway on stage 17, nailing a very tricky descent off the Côte de Pramartino and winning by 40 seconds. Kurt Arjelarvesen. In the late 90s and early 2000s, it would be difficult not to spot Kurt Arjelarvesen in a distinctive Norwegian national champions jersey. He won that national road race title a record five times, adding a further two titles in the time trial. As seems to be the case among many Norwegian riders of recent times, Arvesen was versatile in both stage races and one day classics. As well as a stage of the Tour de France and two at the Giro d'Italia, he won the E3 praise, now known as the E3 Arlbecker, back in 2008. Jakob Fulsang Jakob Fulsang makes our list for being one to watch in the Grand Tour general classifications in the coming years. Coming from a successful mountain bike cross-country career in which he won a world championship title at under 23 level, he won the overall at the Tour of Slovenia and in the Denmark Brunt. Signing for Astana in 2013, he firmly established himself at the Tour de France. Despite not winning a stage, he held his own on the climbs and time trials to finish 7th in the general classification. When Vincenzo Nibali isn't leading the line, we're expecting the Dane to go well in at least one Grand Tour next year. Susanna Lundskog Susanna Lundskog is one of the most successful Scandinavian cyclists of all time. Not only did she win two Road World Championship titles back to back in 2002 and 3, but she's also won the Swedish national road title an incredible six times. Gunri Tadala Fleschia Gunri Tadala was a dominant force in mountain biking between 2001 and 2009. She won six European Championships, six World Championship titles, and Olympic gold cross country at the 2004 Games in Athens. Add four consecutive overall victories in the Cross Country World Cup and you've got a pretty impressive list of achievements for three careers, let alone one. The Norwegian has also made Olympic history by being the only female mountain biker to take part in every cross country race since it was first introduced in 1996. Gosta Pettersson Gosta Pettersson was one of four Pettersson brothers who had massive success in the 60s. The eldest of the brothers, Gosta was arguably also the most famous. He placed third in the 1970 Tour de France and a year later clinched the Maglia Rosa at the Giro d'Italia. As an amateur he took two bronze and a silver during the 64 and 68 Olympics and won a number of golds at the Amateur World Championships in the gruelling 100km team time trial. Torvald Elegard At the turn of the 20th century, Torvald Elegard was a living legend in Danish cycling. He won six sprint titles between 1901 and 1911. A rider of immense technical ability, Elegard ran his last race in 1926 at the grand old age of 49. They were clearly made of sterner stuff back then, with the exception of course of Chris Horner. Gustav Larsson If you like your purebred time trialist, Gustav Larsson's your man. He's won Swedish national time trial championships a record six times. In fact, nobody else has knocked him off the top spot since 2009. 
Outside of Sweden, he won a stage of the Giro d'Italia in 2011, silver at the Beijing Olympics in 2008, and another silver a year later at the World Championships. If he hadn't been racing in the same era as some of the greatest time trials of all time, who knows how many more accolades he could have claimed. For more top 10s on your favourite sport, stay tuned to the Global Cycling Network. But believe me, if you do it right, and you do it right then, it's going to save you a lot of time and hassle and possibly money. So give it a good rinse off, get off all the mud and all the corrosive salts that are laying on the roads at that time.